Cyclocross Magazine here with Robin Farina, defending champ of the 2016 Lost and Found Gravel Race. Take us through that race. How did it go out there? Well, this year was a little different than last year. I mean, still very hard course. It, the, it was super hot out today, so I knew fluids were going to be an issue. But I actually flatted 10 miles in oh, right man. when we started climbing. So that kind of took me out of the lead group and also the other group passed me. So. I was kind of upset because I was like, well, I guess my day's over, right. but instead I had really good legs and I decided that I was going to just chase and chase and chase. And so I put my head down and just kept going as hard as I could. And luckily I kept catching groups. And then yeah. I think, uh, about 30 miles in, I caught the lead woman and we just kind of went back and forth. I would stop right. at a rest stop, Julie Young, yeah. she would keep going. And then, and then I finally caught her and decided that I was just going to throw down. And, yeah. and so I got with a, a fast group of guys and sit down some of the rollers and descents and then you know it's all really up to that last climb yep. which is brutal yep. I think it's it seems like 10 miles but <laughs> right. I'm not quite sure because the feed zone comes and they say it's six more yeah but really the hardest part of the course was at the top waiting for the pavement to come because oh, you have like three miles yep. so it was just a great day this this lost and found event is put on top notch right the Sierra Sierra Trail stewardship does a wonderful job and you know it's just a really laid-back atmosphere but you can still race it if you want to for sure. those of us who are newly retired it gives yeah. us that outlet so right. I just think it's a, a fabulous event and I look forward to doing it every year was it easier the second time around not easier no <laughs> in fact I just I prepared a little better by drinking yeah. more and making sure I had electrolytes because it was sure. super hot today but definitely not easier I mean this course is pretty much unforgiving yeah. there's really not a whole lot of place to recover even on the descents they're right. pretty gnarly so you're having to pay attention so it's just a hard day and you just chalk it up to like where your fitness is and and just hope that you can make it <laughs> to the finish for sure how does your time compared to last year it's a little slower and yeah. I I'm guessing it's because well, I, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the whole flat situation yeah. definitely caused some time loss. Right. And I just think it's a hotter day than it was last year. So maybe yeah. that had some some uh, some reasons why it was right. a little slower. So you're racing, even though you're retired, you're racing for this Panna Racer Stan No Tubes team. Yeah, yeah. they're a gravel team uh, yeah. out of the Midwest. Right. And most of the riders are in uh, at Dirty Kanza today. Yeah. But <clears throat> I've been uh, directing a women's pro team, the sure. Happy Tooth, okay. and uh, that's just taken me off the road quite a bit, like a little lack of training, and plus this is in my backyard. Yeah. It's gorgeous here. Right. I wanted to do Lost and Found, I have a little bit of loyalty to this event, so sure. it was important for me to be here. And so, sponsored by Panaracer and No Tubes, can you tell us a little about your wheels and tires? Yeah, I rode a really fast uh, wheel setup today. Um, my tires were Gravel King. Uh, 35s um, and I rode the tubeless, course. Yeah. yeah. I just think I hit something early on that was uh, a little gnarly and that's probably what caused the flat but otherwise I thought it was a good tire. Yeah. Uh, perfect tire for the course, you know, on the loose stuff, gravel, it was, it was great. Right. Um, so yeah, perfect, perfect setup. Awesome. And you'll be back next year to defend your title? Absolutely. Awesome. Thanks for your time. Sure, thanks.